Today we will be exploring the best method to complete the Price of Victory contract in Imandra using the twin steer to transport both of the BA-20 armored cars. So I haven't been back to Imandra since unlocking the garage there, as I've been working on completing all the contracts in Alaska and Tamir so that I'm ready for phase 2. But today I finally decided it was time to head back there and complete the price of victory. I thought about it for a while and pictured doing the whole thing with the twin steer. Seems like a good choice as it now has all wheel drive and comes with a flatbed trailer ideal for transporting both of the armored cars. It seems like a no brainer but how will it handle Imandra? Let's go through the whole journey step by step. First let's go over some of the prerequisites for this contract. You're going to need to have the Amandra garage unlocked. Next we'll need to pick up the metal detector module upgrade. As you can see it's just a short distance from the garage over by the warehouse where you first pick up the tasks to unlock the garage. You can use any scout vehicle to go and get the upgrade and then you'll be able to equip it on a select number of trucks. I decided on the Voron AE4380. Since you're unable to equip anything else other than the metal detector, you just need a truck capable of making it to the destination. It's important to note that the only purpose that the truck with the metal detector will serve will be to complete the first stage of the mission. It's actually kind of disappointing because you don't even have to locate the armored cars with the metal detector. As soon as you drive to the area marked on the map, this will complete the stage. The armored cars are in fact very close to the checkpoint. If you look over on the map, you could probably guess which two areas to search without even using the metal detector as there are two unique rock formations in this area and yes, that's where you will find the BA-20s. Once you have this stage completed, leave the truck there just in case and let's go on to the next part. And as a quick note, there's a fuel trailer at the nearby hub that should still be there unless you decided to move it. If it's still there for you, then things will be much easier for you on the next part. You'll need a truck with a crane to recover the BA-20s but before you head all the way there, you should make a stop over on the lake just behind the garage. In this area of the map where the ice comes together on the lake, there are concrete slabs that you can move to create a bridge. Here's two possible routes you can take to get to the gap. This part is important. You should scout ahead and decide on which road you'll take because you'll be using it later with the twin steer. The blue route is easier as you just basically follow the icy coast all the way around. The orange route is a shorter distance but requires some precise driving and there's a higher chance of tipping over or getting stuck in between a tree and a hard place. Once you get to the location with the ice gap, there will be several concrete slabs lying around. Just simply pick one up and put it next to the other that's already there. We'll be using this as a shortcut for later. Once you got that done, recover back to the garage and let's get our crane vehicle and the twin steer into position. I used the Tega and winched onto the twin steer to make the journey out to where the armored cars are located. You don't need to have the magnitude of 5 tasks completed which clears the road in that area. There's still a lot of deep snow on that road so you actually want to avoid it. I just used the coastline of the frozen lake as a shortcut to get to the destination. As I'm sure you have figured out by now, if you drive directly on the broken ice blocks or stay as close to them as possible, you will not fall through the ice. Once you're in position, park the twin steer next to the bridge, which will now act as a loading dock for your crane. Now that we're in position, you're all set and can just take your time. The rest of the video will guide you from here with the loading up of the armored cars and the trip back to the garage to fuel up. From the garage, you'll take the path that you scouted out earlier. In this video, we used the blue route. From there, it's just a matter of following the coastline the rest of the way to the airport. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel today so that you never miss a video. As always, thank you for your support and see you next time.